In this edition of ISOWatch, we are looking at Point Linux version 3.2, right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Before we begin, I have a standard greeting for all of the naysayers out there. This is not a review. You are watching a usability experiment in a virtual machine. You are getting my initial impression of the software. I will miss any elements which are transparent to end users on first glance. I do not take the time to research features. That is your responsibility if you want to try the software. I will not spend enough time with this distribution to form a valid opinion. Viewers who are offended by this policy are advised to peruse alternative venues for their edification. With that out of the way, I give you Point Linux version 3.2. It is very interesting to see the number of uh, distributions out there that are using a uh, Debian backend. And uh, for good reason, though, Debian is stable. Let's see what kernel this is using. Okay, this is using uh, 3.16, so that tells me um, this is using Debian stable. So we're on the stable branch here. So this will be a nice little distro for uh, those of you who really have stability in mind. That sort of thing. Maybe you might want to use something like this for a small business. Or maybe even for home computing if you don't have to have cutting edge, bleeding edge software. Uh, this is the Mate desktop. It's been a while since I looked at it. A standard uh, setup goes with this. Uh, this is a, a desktop switcher on the lower right. On the lower left collapses all windows and shows the desktop. On the upper right is a power button. You also have a calendar. Also shows where the sun's position is too. <laughs> kind of cool. All right, network and volume in your notification tray. A quick launch to uh, Firefox is thrown in here. Um, a system menu with system tools and all of your preferences for managing the system are in here. Some administration tools as well, such as your Gparted, setting up your printer, your network, that sort of thing. Synaptic package manager is in here as well. There's also a control center, which has everything in one easy to get to user interface here. Okay, and then about Mate, locking the screen, logging out, shutting down, which you can do over here as well. All right, quick launch to your places, and then applications. This has pretty much everything you need to get started. It's, just, it's a bare bone system, and uh, rightly so, the ISO image wasn't that large. So it gives you just enough to get started, so this is a nice system to build on top of. So a number of accessories, just an image viewer, no image editor like the GIMP or anything like that. Uh, a few internet applications, Firefox for uh, web browsing, Pigeon for instant messaging, uh, Transmission for BitTorrent, and uh, Romina, I think, is... Um, I forgot what Romina is, would you believe that? Okay, this is a remote desktop client. <laughs> I've never even played with this thing, to be honest with you. Okay, the full LibreOffice suite and a few other accoutrements thrown in. Just VLC for playing uh, media and um, a few system tools thrown in as well. All right, uh, the, the, the thing that really shines about this desktop is that, you know, pretty much Mate um, is... The fork of GNOME 2 before, well, it went to GNOME Shell. People were ticked off, so they forked GNOME 2, and uh, they uh, did this. And the, the nice thing about this is it is really, really easy to customize. So if you want to, um, you know, really rip this thing apart and make it your own, this is the way to do it. Why don't we open up that control center here? I'll just give you an example. For instance, there isn't very many themes that come with this. But the thing is, you know, making your own theme is super easy. Um, and I wish that GNOME still had this, but it doesn't. You select a base theme here. 
select customize, and then you can go to town on this thing if you want to. Um, I think I like the uh, clear looks. That's fine. Okay, but we can change the color. So maybe if I want um, to do something different here, I can. And basically all I'm just doing here is just inverting the colors that they had. And uh, just making some changes so that um, this has an appearance that I want. It will uh, deepen that color. Give that text a nice lighter color here. So you can see that was super easy just to make my own desktop beam right there. And it took me, what, a minute to do that. I mean, uh, and we can even further customize this. I mean, uh, you know, we can go in here and choose different window borders for it. Maybe I might want to go with this uh, dust, or, um, hmm, maybe what we had before was just fine. Okay. Choose your icons. Now, there aren't very many icons thrown in here, but, I mean, it just gives you a taste of what you can do here. Um, and you can get more icons and stuff online for this, so... I think that's really cool. So, I mean, the customization options are right there. And uh, it wasn't that hard to do at all. Not many wallpapers included with this, but that's okay. You can find wallpapers anywhere online. And pretty much, uh, I love the customization options. Um, so you can really quickly, you know, make this your own and have a lot of fun with it. This also has a menu editor. So you can actually define... Um, what items appear in your menu and which items don't. I always thought that was a neat feature in GNOME 2, and, well, we still have that here, so that's kind of nice. And there's a bunch of other things. Uh, another th stop you may want to make is the startup applications. You can define which applications are going to automatically start when the system turns on. So if you decide you want to uh, shut down any of these services, uh, you could do that. So, plenty of other little tweaks here, too. I know a number of you wanted to see this in action, and uh, it looks like a nice little operating system that you can play with. Um, Mate is very easy to configure and customize. And this also comes in another flavor, which is the XFCE desktop. So, you have a choice between uh, Mate or XFCE. Um, I've been thinking about trying out Mate on my system, but um, the, the only issue I have is sometimes um, when you have items on your panels, they don't like to stay put, I have noticed. Like if you switch resolutions and stuff, and you, you'll notice that you'll have, you'll have things uh, positioned uh, in areas where you don't want them, and I really don't like that very much. Uh, but other than that, um, I haven't run into any issues when playing with this. Uh, this is a fun little operating system to play with, and if you think it's something that you might enjoy, and you don't have the need for cutting-edge software, uh, Point Linux might be a good option for you. Click the link in the description, download this, and give it a try. That's all I have on this. I don't know what I'm going to be doing in my next couple of Linux episodes, but I'm sure I'll have something equally exciting. And until then, peace.
e tchau.